Let's find the least common multiple using division. Show me how it's done. Introduction LCM using division method. Let's subtract two fractions by finding the least common multiple, that is LCM using division method. 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6. We see that the denominators are not the same for both the fractions. Let's make the denominators same by finding LCM of the denominators 3 and 6. To find the LCM of 3 and 6 using the division method, we write the denominators separated by a comma. Then we divide these numbers by the least prime number that divides any of these two numbers. Here we start with 2. 3 is not divisible by 2, so we write 3 as it is. 6 is divisible by 2, we get 3. We repeat the steps with the next prime number, that is 3. 3 is divisible by 3. We get 1. Again, 3 is divisible by 3. We get 1. We then multiply the prime numbers we used for dividing. 2 times 3 equals 6. Here 6 is the least common multiple. That is the LCM. Let's make the denominators the same as 6. So to change the denominator from 3 to 6, we have to multiply 3 with 2. Since we multiply the denominator with 2, we will also have to multiply the numerator with 2, which is 1 times 2, which equals 2. Now 1 by 3 becomes 2 by 6. The denominator of the second fraction is 6, so we use it as it is. Now the denominators are the same for both the fractions, that is 6. We write the denominator as 6. And we subtract the numerators. 2 minus 1 equals 1. The answer is 1 by 6. Let's look at another example. 3 by 4 minus 2 by 6. We see that the denominators are not the same for both the fractions. Let's make the denominators same by finding LCM of the denominators 4 and 6. To find the LCM of 4 and 6 using division method, we write the denominators separated by a comma. Then we divide these numbers by the least prime number that divides any of these two numbers. Here we start with 2. 4 is divisible by 2. We get 2. 6 is divisible by 2. We get 3. We repeat the steps again with 2. 2 is divisible by 2. We get 1. 3 is not divisible by 2. So we write 3 as it is. We repeat the steps with the next prime number. That is 3. We write 1 as it is. 3 is divisible by 3. We get 1. We then multiply the prime numbers we used for dividing. 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12. Here 12 is the least common multiple. That is the LCM. Let's make the denominator same as 12. 
We multiply the denominator of the first fraction with 3. 4 times 3 equals 12. Next, we multiply the denominator of the second fraction with 2. That is 6 times 2 equals 12. Since we multiply the denominator of the first fraction with 3, we multiply the numerator with the same number. That is 3 times 3. We get 9 by 12. Since we multiply the denominator of the second fraction with 2, we multiply the numerator with the same number. That is 2 times 2. We get 4 by 12. This becomes 9 by 12 minus 4 by 12. Now the denominators are the same for both the fractions. That is 12. We write the denominator as 12. And we subtract the numerators. 9 minus 4 equals 5. The answer is 5 by 12. I'm happy you're clear with the process, Tiger. You did the exercise well. I remember to follow the right steps, but there is lots of practice required. Oh yes, but it's all fun, isn't it? 